Hey babes, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. For today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. As you guys can tell by the title, a personal stylist is going to be styling me. So I have seen a couple YouTubers do this video. Most recently, I saw Sierra Schultz do this video and it was just like really fun to see. Basically, Nordstrom has this service where you can book an appointment with like a personal stylist. I just thought it would be really cool to have someone else style me and maybe give me some ideas of things that I don't usually reach for or wear that, you know, might actually look good on me or that I might actually enjoy. So I figured, why the heck not? So I booked an appointment. I just went to Nordstrom.com, booked it, it's completely free. And then they followed up with an email to confirm the appointment and also find out all sorts of things. So they asked me questions like my size, go-to pieces, what I like to wear, what brands I wear. And then the last question they asked, which I thought was a great idea and very insightful, was they asked if I had a Pinterest board with like outfit inspiration. So I sent that email on over, confirmed my appointment, got assigned to this gal named Janea, and yeah, okay, let's cut to the day of the appointment. Good morning, guys. So wait, actually, it's like afternoon. So good afternoon, guys. Hello. Today, I have my stylist appointment at 1 p.m. It's a two-hour session. Super excited. I don't really know what to expect except for, you know, wait, there's a hair in my mouth. Um, I am super excited. I don't really know what to... Okay, this hair just needs to go. Anyways, it seems like a lot of fun, and maybe I'll even find some pieces I actually really like. I don't... Like, I don't know. I'll give you guys a little outfit of the day. So I'm wearing one of my favorite button ups. It's just this white one with little navy star print. I got it in London for $5 from like this really nice street vendor. I have on these black ones from Express. They have this little, <laughs> they have this little fringe detail at the bottom and for shoes. Um, feels kind of illegal, but for shoes, he's wearing my black Steve Madden Chelsea booties. And yeah, let's go. Check the Spotify streams. Most of my fans overseas. Ironically, I visit there in my dreams. Hello guys, I am in the dressing room. So on first glance, like everything is so my style. I am so in love with everything. I'm so excited to try everything on. I especially, I really like this top. I think it's so beautiful. Most of the pieces she said she pulled from Topshop, Reformation, Madewell, and then a couple of their brands sprinkled in. My stylist, Shania, is currently getting me a glass of water, which is so nice. Um, and now I guess it's time to try things on. Outfit number one was definitely like one of my favorites, if not my favorite, just because it was so cute, so my style. I thought it just like looked really flattering and nice. It was totally something I would wear. Really loved it. I thought the stylist nailed it. I was hoping to really find a nice pair of flare jeans. And up until that point, I had had no luck, but Jenea, she was amazing. And she found me the cutest, most flattering pair of flare jeans. If I had to rate this outfit, I would give it a 10 because it was exactly what I was looking for. Like so cute. The outfit number two is like this neutral colored turtleneck. It's a little bit oversized paired with this black uh, pleathery skirt and these black booties. So I really like all of the pieces separately, but I feel like as one whole outfit, it's like not my favorite. Outfit number two was not as much my style. It's a style that I definitely do admire and I would totally wear the heck out of it. I'm like a really short person. So the longer skirt paired with the longer sweater, definitely I feel like overwhelmed my frame and it wasn't as flattering. So I just, I did not like how it looked on me. I did really like all of the pieces individually, but together, I just don't think it was right for me. So for outfit number two, I would probably give the outfit a four or a five, but Janea, I would give her like a 10 because she put together this really cute outfit, but it didn't work on me. After I tried on outfit number two, Janea was like, you know what? I would actually swap out that sweater. So we swapped out that sweater to this kind of light gray croppier sweater. And I did think it was more flattering, but it still wasn't really my vibe or style. So I would probably keep the rating about the same. Like it'd probably be like a five or a six now. I also tried on this hat that she set out and I really like this hat. It's so cute. Then Janae brought me a version three to outfit two and she brought me two options for shorter skirts. So I tried one of the shorter skirts with this outfit and I thought it looked actually way cuter and more flattering having a little bit of leg showing. I would have given like a seven or eight. Like I thought it was a cute style. Janae went on the hunt to go find me something that was more flattering to my body shape, but overall it just like wasn't my vibe. So 
I would probably give this outfit like a seven. So outfit number three, I think I liked maybe the least. This one just like kind of was not me. Bodysuit was a little too sexy for me. And usually like, I don't mind showing cleavage, but I think the fact that it was like a pleather bodysuit that showed a lot of cleavage, it made me feel like really edgy and kind of risque. Like it looked good, but I did not feel confident in it. I would probably give this outfit like a three or a four just because I just didn't like it. It's not something I would really wear. I feel like if the jeans and the shoes were paired with most other tops, I would probably really like it. This whole outfit probably would get like an eight or nine, but it was just like the top that kind of really threw it. I wasn't crazy about it. So this is outfit number four. I really like how it looks. Very Kristen Johns-esque outfit. This is another favorite. I think it's so cute and it is a maxi skirt, but it does sit quite a bit higher. It sits right at my waist. And also, you guys have to check out these shoes. I would never think to pair like this athletic of sneakers with this. And if you guys are wondering why I only have one shoe on for most of these outfits, there is just like one shoe here, which I'm sure is for, I don't know, some sort of like security reasons or something. Dude, I love the simple style of this outfit. Overall, like this outfit was a 10 for me. This is something I would totally wear. So she just brought back these like wide leg pants that I really liked earlier, but in a bigger size, but now like the size is a little a little too big um and i feel like the other ones even though they were small i feel like they just fit better like they looked better because now i don't really like these as much as i did earlier and then she also brought me this top to try which is so cute on the rack but on me it just ain't it chief we both agreed that it just is not a very flattering fit on me so janaea took it out of the fitting room right quick Thanks, Jenea. So I have this next outfit on and she paired it with like this gold chain, which I would never think to do, but I actually kind of like it. So this is what the outfit looks like as a whole. Very kind of, I keep going to put my hands in the pockets, but they're fake pockets. So I keep just getting like tripped up. Outfit number five, I really liked. I thought it was so chic and elegant and really cute. The only thing I did not like was again, because I'm short and I also have a very short torso was the fact that the pants just like went up too high. My boobs were sitting on my waistline. I love the outfit. This is totally something I would wear. It's meant for someone who has an average size torso or longer, but just didn't fit quite as well. Ultimately, this outfit was beautiful. It is totally something I would wear and I really, really liked it. But like the pants, I just did not like how high they were. So the outfit gets a 10, but as for the fit, I'd probably give it like a five. For our next outfit, we're gonna be trying on this polka dot dress number and we're gonna be mixing some prints with this cheetah flat and tying it together with this nude beret, which I'm very excited to try on. I think it's so gorgeous. It's from Reformation. I love the silhouette and I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would just because um, usually I don't go for things with such high necklines and a longer length. For the shoes, I actually do like the mixing of prints. Another one of my favorites, so gorgeous. If I was like rich AF, I would totally buy it, but because I'm not rich AF, the dress was kind of expensive and it is a purchase that I think I would wanna think more about versus then just like, buying it and you're gonna think about this and maybe if I'm still thinking about it in like a couple months maybe I'll buy it. Jenea killed it with this outfit. I loved her pairings with it. I loved the mixed prints and I loved the beret and I just I thought it was so gorgeous and you know what I'm gonna rate her an 11 on this one just because I loved it so so much. So I accidentally tried on the wrong jeans with this top even though this top is really cute as you guys can see it just doesn't fit. If this was like a cute lacy bra then it would just look like I was wearing a lacy undershirt but no this is an actual real bra and <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't cover so no on this top. Overall this outfit just like doesn't quite fit me. I tried on these flare jeans which just like did not work for me. They just they were for someone who was taller. For outfit number eight, I tried on the jeans that I was supposed to try in outfit number seven. And I actually really, really like these jeans. I thought they were very cute, flattering, and I've heard good things about them. I actually like it more than I thought I would. Of course, I would wear a different bra with this. Typically, this isn't something that I think would look good on me, but I do like it. As for the jeans, they are super comfortable. For this outfit, I would give this one a nine or 10 as well. So after I tried on outfit number eight, I swapped out the jeans to these Levi 501s that are really, trendy right now and I actually have been thinking about getting these jeans for quite some time but up until that point I had never tried them so I tried them on I really like them outfit number nine ended up being kind of like a bonus outfit just because it wasn't really planned in my initial styling session it kind of was grabbed throughout and then we put it together I really like the black camisole I liked how it fell on my figure the reformation jeans I've heard a lot of really good things about Reformation jeans and this was the first pair I tried on, so maybe it was just this pair, but I wasn't 
really crazy about them. I didn't really like the fit. I didn't really like the wash. I've worn nearly identical outfits to this. So this outfit I would rate a 10 just because it is my style. Something I am confused about though is <laughs> these pants are $128. Whereas this itsy bitsy black rose print top is $148. Does not compute. Hello again, guys. I just got home and I've been home for like less than a minute. I've already changed into comfy pants, which I'll kind of show you. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about like my overall experience since it's fresh in my mind. So much fun. It was such a cool experience. I usually don't try on such a wide variety of things. I pretty much stick to like my comfort sector. It was really neat to try so many different things. I got paired with like the best stylist ever because she was nice, she was friendly, she was easy to chat with, and she also has an Instagram if you guys want to check her out. I will link her below and like also pop her up here like you totally should follow her. She was so nice. If you're trying to like expand your personal style, if you're trying to figure out new things, or maybe you just need like some style guidance, definitely check out this service. And like I said earlier, this isn't sponsored. This is just something I decided to try and I do think it's a really neat service. All right, let's hop back to the other video because I am hungry and I need to make myself some food. So see you guys in a sec. That is a wrap on today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of vlog style meet sit down video. If you guys have a Nordstrom near you, I highly recommend you try this because it was so cool. And if you guys are trying to figure out your personal style, maybe you're refreshing your wardrobe or maybe you just don't know like what you really like or what you're into, definitely try it because it's really cool to get a different opinion and someone else's ideas. So if you try it or if you have tried it, let me know what your experience is like in the comment section just cause I'm curious and I'd love to hear about it. And I actually ended up getting four pieces. So I'll do a little, a little haul for you guys. After you guys heard me rave about them extensively, Extensively, I ended up getting those black flare jeans from the first outfit. I seriously love them so much. I thought they were so flattering, so cute. And I actually have been wanting to do a 70s style lookbook for a while, but I've just been waiting for like the perfect flare jeans. And now I have them in the Levi 501 mom jeans. And I really like these. I feel like this, there's not too much to say about this. I just, I like them. I think they're a really nice mom jean. I also ended up getting these super cool sunglasses and so like very 80s meets 90s style. And surprisingly enough, just because this is something I never buy and I never imagined I would end up leaving Nordstrom with something like this, I ended up getting those Nike sneakers, the red, white, and blue kind of retro ones that were paired with the polka dot skirt. Definitely a purchase that I would never think I would buy, but I bought them and I really, really like them. So that is what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this experience. I, again, had a great time. It was so fun. I'm curious to know what your favorite outfit was. I'll leave it in the comment section down below. And today's quote is one I very much believe in. And the quote says, you can't pour from an empty cup take care of yourself first. So think on that and do some self-care this week. Have an amazing rest of your day. I love you guys lots and I will see you in my next video. Bye.